it means that you can continue. Uh, this one is also an exercise for you to watch. It's an assignment of, for you to watch that video. So I'm going to be really quick. This is the first time that you are going to be seeing attention. This is a simplified type of attention compared to the full-blown attention mechanism that we are going to see later on in this course. And how is this attention working? And what is the big picture? The big picture is that sentences are a sequence of words, and then the sentences are going to form documents. And then you can also go at lower level. And we are going to see that, that characters are going to form words. We are going to see an example of it very shortly. Intuitively, that makes sense. Let's try to come up with an architecture that does that. So a bunch of sentences are going to give you a document. And then you want to turn that document, which is sort of an unstructured data. And then you want to tabularize it. You want to vectorize it. You want to turn an entire sentence into a single vector. That's the entire objective. Let's assume that you somehow came up with these vectors for your document. So you have a sentence vector here, another sentence vector here, another one here. And then uh, from those sentence vectors, you want to turn an entire document into a single vector. We learned about recurrent neural networks and LSDMs. So you can take these vectors, push them through your recurrent neural network, and that's going to give you a bunch of other vectors going forward, a bunch of other vectors going backward. Here, uh, these vectors are actually going inside the backward LSTM. So you have two separate LSTMs. One is operating in a forward manner. The other one is working in a backward manner. You're just reversing time. And then you're concatenating them. That's going to give you a vector to work with. Per each sentence, now you have a vector. And these are these HIs here. You can modify the dimension of that and end up with some UIs. And here is the interesting part. You are going to keep asking from your document a question. And the question that you're asking is, what is the most informative sentence in this document? And how do you represent that question? You're going to represent it by a vector. There is going to be a single vector corresponding to this question. And this is a learnable parameter or learnable parameter vector. You take US, this question, and then you are going to ask that question from every single sentence. Are you the answer to this question? If yes, how much? What should be the score that I need to associate to your answer? And then uh, you want this score to end up being positive. And then you also have a budget of one. Therefore, you are going to use the softmax function here. Because then these alpha i's are going to sum to one. And then the vector representation for the entire document is going to end up being a linear combination of these alpha i's. And this is interesting. A different document, if a different document goes in, these alphas are going to change differently. So these alphas are document dependent. Later on, we are going to change this query vector here, and we are going to change that to be input dependent as well. But now this is just a generic question. This is just one vector uh, for your entire corpus, for your entire documents. And for this model, it makes sense because in the end, you want to end up with a single vector. And then you're asking which one of you guys are the most important sentence in this document. We can do the same exercise here. A sentence is a sequence of words. And then you want to turn that sentence into a vector. You're going to have a forward, backward, LSTM, concatenate them, ask the question. Now your question is different. Therefore, you have a different vector here. You initialize it randomly, and then it's going to get trained on its own. And then your question now is, what is the most informative word in this sentence? You end up with some alphas, which are sentence dependent. And then your S2 is just a linear combination of these alphas and these vectors. Or it's a linear combination of these vectors with alphas being your coefficients. And that's it. The rest of it is just putting a head on top of it and doing softmax. One cool thing about attention mechanism is that you can actually visualize what is the most important sentence in my document. You can look at these alphas, and that's going to tell you which one is the most important one. The higher the red uh, shade is here, 
that's the most important sentence. And then you can go even further. You can say, okay, this sentence is the most important one. You are paying the most attention to it. Now you're asking which word is the most important one in this document for this particular prediction that you are putting in front of us. And then you look at alpha and that's gonna give you the alpha that is corresponding to delicious being the most important word. Any questions about attention or at least the simplified version of it? Was everything clear? Okay, awesome.